Dear Adaptation Champions, welcome to this Youth Adaptation Forum recorded here from the largest floating office in the world in Rotterdam. No discussion on adapting to the impact of climate change is complete without considering the importance of water. And no discussion on creating a sustainable future can be complete without engaging directly with young people. So I am especially pleased this Youth Adaptation Forum is taking place as part of the World Water Forum in Senegal. As a solutions broker for Adaptation Action, the Global Center on Adaptation, or GCA, is placing young people's perspectives and priorities at the heart of our work. Starting today with Africa, this first in the series of Youth Adaptation Forums will engage with young people from around the world. The forums will ensure your voices are heard as part of global debates such as those on the global goal on adaptation and also involve young people as actors and agents of change by creating the adaptation jobs of the future and supporting youth-led businesses such as through our Youth Adapt program. Let me give you one example, the Youth Adapt Challenge. This unprecedented initiative is to inspire and support youth-led adaptation solutions across the African continent, more than half owned by women. It is supporting projects run by businesses such as uh, Millet Fathers for Smallholder Farmers in Zambia, drought-resistant seedlings in Kenya, and drones to reduce flooding in Cameroon. But we're also working with our multilateral development bank partners to ensure adaptation jobs are mainstreamed into various country projects with a 30% target rate of adaptation jobs created. And as a proportion of its population, Africa is the world's youngest continent. The recent report from the IPCC have also reinforced that African communities are set to bear the brunt of climate impacts. Solutions exist and adaptation is possible. So the world needs your ambition, energy, but also your entrepreneurial spirit. This is why your work is so important. And this is also why GCA is proud to have youth leadership as a core pillar of our flagship program in Africa, the African Adaptation Acceleration, or AAAP, which we designed and launched together with the African Development Bank under the leadership of President Arashina. And through our Youth Adaptation Network, we are connecting and empowering young people to make the case for adaptation. Like through today's event, and this series contributing to the discussions on the global goal on adaptation and building towards COP27 hosted by Egypt. With that, I want to thank Desmond and Alicia for convening this session. I wish you all the best in your deliberations and I look forward to working with you all in taking forward these outcomes. Thank you and take the GCA as your partner of choice.